We were kind of seeing each other off and on. I wasn't going over as much. And then all of a sudden it just got really intense. After I had eaten what she fed me, this woman made me something to eat. She put her period blood in the uh, food that she made me. And once I ate it, I fell just deeply in love with her and I could not get away. This woman had me in a love spell. She was the only one in the world for me. No matter how beautiful, there was no other woman. She wasn't very attractive, very plain, didn't take care of herself. I just couldn't leave. She stole money from me. She stole my ATM card when I was sleeping and I was like, well, wait a minute. I'm not buying anything expensive. Where's this money going? I tried to like recycle for extra cash. I went to the recycling center and this man that recycled all the time, he saw me there and he was asking me like, what are you doing here? Like you make good money. And I said, I just can't make it. I don't know what's going on. He goes, there's something wrong with you. There's something on your back that has his tail wrapped around your neck. It's not letting go. Somebody put a spell on you. He goes, you need to come see me so I can take that spell off of you. He's a like a priest, like a Santeria priest. I said, okay. I go see him. We go into this little room. There's candles, saints, and he tells me to sit down, take my shirt off, and he starts rubbing this oil on me, all on my back, where he said he saw this thing. And then he backs up and he's looking at me. He starts yelling, saying prayers, prayers that I've never heard because they're in Spanish. He keeps yelling and yelling and he keeps pointing at it, but he's pointing at me and he opens the door. It's calm. It's, it's night, but there's this big tree. All of a sudden it gets really windy and this tree just starts shaking. So I look up in the tree and I see these two little red eyes looking right at me. What the fuck is this? The tree shakes and then these birds just fly out of it. And he told me, he goes, that was the spell she put on you. So I go back home. The girl at the time, she says, where'd you go? And when I looked at her, her whole appearance had changed. She just looked like, um, like a demon, like a female with boobs, horns, ugly face, burnt, whatever. That's what it looked like. So I kind of backed off and she's like, what's wrong? And I said, nothing. She goes, you went to go see that man, didn't you? And I said, yeah. She goes, I told you not to go see him. Well, why not? We started arguing. I couldn't trust her. We ended up separating. I never explained anything to her. I didn't want her to know that I really kind of knew. I didn't want her to try something else on me. Later on down the line, one of my friends had moved in. They wanted to dig like a pool in the backyard and they're digging this big giant hole. And when they dig the hole, they find this little silk pouch and it has a picture of me in there, my hair wrapped around it, burnt candle, burnt sticks, some of my fingernails, cause she used to clip my, my toenails, you know, when they used to get long. A pair of my underwear was in there. I think she put that stuff in there so I would never leave. I just threw it away. And uh, I went back to that man. He explained to me, you ate something that she made that it was spicy. And when you ate it, you ingested that spell, that love spell. He said it was her period of blood. He explained to me that it would have been better if she had like a miscarriage to give me something like that. When I met somebody else and I told him the story about it, it just so happened she was trying to do the same thing to me. I saw the same thing in her face. That same demon looking person, not person, whatever. I knew it was time to go. I just left. Because that man had cleansed me, there was no way for anybody else to do that to me. That's how I knew. So if anybody tries to do this to you again, you're gonna know instantly. So just be aware. They always wanted me to eat. There was always time to eat for some reason. And it was always spicy. Because it didn't work and I found out now they're reaping the bad energy that they pushed out to me. But it's like 10 times worse than what they pushed out. That's the way Santeria magic works. She has to pay for it now. And so does the other one. Their lives are just in shambles because of what they did to me. They can't keep a job. They can't make it in society. They're stuck because of all that bad energy they pushed towards me. I haven't seen that demon in a long time. For the longest time also, I would never let anybody do my laundry, ever. And I always kept count of my underwear. I don't uh, eat anything when I go to other people's houses, especially if I don't know you that well. I don't associate with a lot of my old friends. I basically stay away from everyone. I really don't know what's out there and it scares me.